Live from Kaiser Permanente Arena, welcome to UC Santa Cruz basketball. Home open of the 2021-2022 season. It's been a long, long time coming. And Belly Awipi here, bringing you the call as the Banana Slugs welcome 2019 NC2A Tournament Sweet 16 participant Kyle Pauli Pomona, the 11th all-time meeting between the two schools. Starting five for UC Santa Cruz in the first game of the Matt Malone era. The forwards are Calvin Keyes and Sam Nangle. Point guard is Simon Mueller Landsvik. The wing is number 15, Ryan Silva, and the center is number 24, Avery Finch. Starting for the Sage Hens will be number three, a junior guard from Palo Alto, Brendan Mora. A 6'4 senior from Texas, number 10, Stephen Blomstrom. Senior forward from Los Altos, number 30, Matt Eberly. A forward from Boulder, Colorado, number 44, Pete Boyle. And the center from Newport Beach is number 50, Johnny King. Two NorCalers in the Sage Hens starting five. Perfect night for some D3 basketball. Perfect night for the Banana Slugs to play here in this great arena. Much thanks to the Santa Cruz Warriors. And it'll be Calvin Keyes, forward from Chicago. And he jumps against Johnny King. The Banana Slugs get the first tip. Simon Mueller Landsvik brings it up. Motion offense by UC Santa Cruz. Wearing white, Avery Finch goes inside. Gets a turn, it goes over, doesn't get the rim. Off the glass, out of bounds. Pomona ball. As we will redo the time. After further review, we'll inbound at 1944. Everyone getting their basketball legs and feet back. And now the stagehands bring it up. Blomstrom drives, finds the big man Johnny King and goes in for the first two points of the ball game. Mueller Landsvik brings it up. He's being guarded by Blomstrom, finds w Fitch. He'll drive, he'll go straight up, gets to the rim. Keys gets the rebound. Three point by Silva is good. Banana Slugs have the lead. And Ryan Silva from Escalon hits the first points of the season. Eberly drives, kicks it out to Blomstrom. He answers with his own three. And it's five to three, Sage Hens lead. Silva cuts. So Keys goes reverse, but he's blocked. Goes out of bounds, stays with UC Santa Cruz. Shot clock should not have reset. And we'll get to redone. Good crowd here at Kaiser Permanente Arena, like edging over 100. And we'll reset at the table. 21 on the shot clock. Mueller Landsvik inbounding. He finds keys. So he'll swing it around to Nangle. And they're still having clock problems, so we'll reset the reset. Get everything absolutely c completely perfect. As I mentioned, good crowd here. Two of the starters for the Sage Hens are from up the street in Santa Clara County. Mueller Landsvik came a little bit further than Palo Alto. He hails from Dusseldorf, Germany. Top of the key, he'll go reverse field. He'll find Silva on the left wing to Nangle, the San Franciscan. Swung around, all the Nasdaqs touching the ball. Keys kicks it out. Landsvik will try, he's blocked, brought down. Second shot off the iron. No, but they call a shot clock violation before. Occasionally, they called stepped out of bounds on the rebound. 
An unforced turnover gives Pomona Pitzer the ball. Two blocks already by the Sagehens. Boyle can't control it. Picked up by Mueller Landsvik. He'll drive. The Aslaks don't have the numbers. They set their offense. Finch. He has a mismatch. He'll drive against Boyle. He'll go up. Double team drawn. And Finch will go to the line shooting two. And that foul is on 44 Peter Boyle, the forward from Boulder, Colorado. As Coach Matt Malone talks to Simon Muir Landsvik and Nangle. Finch with the first free throw and nothing but net. The Nasleks within one. There's a good shot of Matt Malone, first year coach from Tufts in Medford, Massachusetts, where he was a longtime assistant. Went to three Sweet 16s with the Jumbos. And now the Nasleks have tied. Blomstrom brings it up and will go to the table again. And we're all getting everything I said, just absolutely perfect. Another good shot of uh, Charlie Katsafikas, the head coach of Pomona Pitcher. Swung around by the Sagehens. Long three from Pete Boyle, no good. Scramble for the rebound. Falls to Calvin Keyes. Banana Slugs looking to push. Experienced guard there in Simon Mueller Landsvik, the senior. He gets his pick and roll from Finch. He'll bring it around. He'll find Finch in there. Double team drawn. He'll split them. He'll do the one handed jump hook. No good. Brought down by the Sagehens. Eberly. Gets it to Mora. Mora double teamed. Swisses around. He finds Boyle on the wing. If up top to Blomstrom. Sagehens will reset with 50 on the shot clock. King. Rosa Dolting kicks it out to the wing. Three pointer by Eberly. Misses everything. But the Sagehens get the rebound. And the second rebound comes down to the Banana Slugs. They'll bring it up. Looking for the lead. Keys for three. Nothing. He drains it off the assist from 14. Banana Slugs hitting the threes early. They get a second lead. Cut and drive by number three, Mora. No good. And on the scramble, it becomes Banana Slugs ball. Three and a half in, and the Banana Slugs have a three point lead. Keys holds it up. He'll do a dribble to a cutting Silva. He'll bring it back out to Mueller Landsvik. 12 on the shot clock. Banana Slugs begin to work. Pick and roll. Mueller Landsvik drives. Finds Nangle. Stop and pop. Blocked again. Rebound to the Sage Hens. Mora brings it up one on two. He'll go in anyway off the glass and cut the. Banana Slugs lead to 8-7. Third block by the Sagehens, who aren't that much longer than the Banana Slugs, but they're finding where to challenge the shots. Silva picks up his dribble. Back outside to the top to Mueller Landsvik. 12 on the shot clock. He waits for the pick and roll. He gets it. He'll drive to the right. He'll go straight to the rim. Little contact. Nothing called. Rebound falls to Mora. Sagehens looking to run. Eberly on the wing, he'll drive, reverse, and he brings the contact, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. It will be the first foul of the night against the Banana Slugs, and it's called on number one, Calvin Keyes, the senior jack of all trades from Lane Tech in Chicago, Illinois. Two subs coming in for the Sagehens after this bit. First free throw. Rattles around and falls in. Peyton Malarkey and Ty Bergman come in for the Sagehens. Banana Slugs make a change themselves. Number 13, Zeno Oka coming in for his college debut. Also in, in the long-awaited college debut of number five, Ian McCloskey, sophomore from Glendale. A pair of SoCalers coming in. McCloskey 
a sophomore, but didn't play last year for you know reasons that she'll go unsaid. Second free throw good. And Pitzer, Pomona, both of them, take the lead. Five on the floor for UC Santa Cruz are Keys, Finch, McCloskey, Oka, and Mueller Landsvik. McCloskey double teamed, and a five second call on the tie up gives it to Pomona. Second turnover by UC Santa Cruz, 4 44 in. Inbounded to Peyton Malarkey, freshman from Novato, at the point for the Sagehens. He finds Boyle, who's guarded by McCloskey. Swung to the wing. Mora breaks three, comes through the thing. He'll drive in. Ball stripped almost, but recovered, and nope. Simon Lanz Mueller Lansford gets it. One on three. He goes to the glass. Fast break layup by the Banana Slugs. They retake the lead in this back and forth matchup. Seichan swinging around. Three pointer by Mora off the front iron. Rebound by Finch. And Banana Slugs are feeling it right now as more subs prepare to come in. McCloskey, Mueller Landsvik. He tries to shake his defender, gets on his knees, and th quick thinking throws it off his legs. Banana Slugs will keep possession with 17 on the shot clock. As a pair of subs come in, Carrick Walker coming in for Pomona Pitzer. And Trayson Keating, the junior forward from Chico, comes in replacing Finch. McCloskey gets it. He'll go to his left, hold up the dribble, and find Mueller Landsvik. 15 on the shot clock. High post motion by UC Santa Cruz. Oka, top of the screen. He'll drive. And his first college shot attempt, no good. Rebound by Keating. And he's bullied. And the shot clock did not reset because the layup did not hit the rim. And another turnover forced by the Sagehens. Five minutes, 53 in. Banana Slugs with the one point lead as Malarkey brings it up for the Sage Hens. He finds Ty Bergman. He holds up, goes to the right, hands off to Eberly. Eberly will draw the contact and he'll shoot two after the foul. And that'll be called on Trayson Keating, his first, team second. As Malone giving some coaching to McCloskey. Malone hired after a nationwide search. And looking to bring good things to the Banana Select program. Like I said, a longtime assistant at uh, NESCAC Power Tufts. And his new assistant is Everett Dayton, another Tufts graduate. Sagehands go one of two from the line, tied at 10. And everyone gets some coaching. First, first game jitters for everybody, but we're so glad to be back. Keithing will inbound it. Mueller Landsvik brings it up as Tyler Kessinger prepares to come in for UC Santa Cruz. Zeno Oka, top of the key, swings around to McCloskey. Back to Oka, and he'll take a three off the back. Rebound to Malarkey of the Seychelles. They look to run, but they don't have the numbers. Malarkey will do an alley-oop, and no good the layup, and the falls out of bounds. It will be UC Santa Cruz ball. As aforementioned, Kessinger comes in. He'll play point guard after a great Six minute, 35 second shift by Mueller Landsvik. Kessinger gets it from Keating, brings it across the timeline to McCloskey. Pick and roll. He loses the ball, but it's all up. And then Malarkey will push it up. Running layup is good. And that's the first fast break points by Pomona Pitzer today. And they take the lead 12 to 10 of Ty Bergman's layup. McCloskey tries to redeem himself. No good, brought down by Eberly. Sage Hens running again. Banana Slugs back. 
Swung around the perimeter. Three-pointer from the left corner. No good. Bounded around. Falls in the hands of Malarkey. He'll stop and pop. And it's good. Back-to-back -back quick points by the Sage Hens. They're up by four. Kessinger brings it up. Guarded by Malarkey. He'll drive to the right. Hand off to McCloskey. Swings to Oka. He'll drive. Draws a double team. And stutter stepped on his feet. Giving the ball back to Pomona. Ryan Silva will come back in for UC Santa Cruz and making his UC Santa Cruz debut, number 12, Zach Granberry. Forward from Archbishop Midi High School in San Jose. Three uh, people from the WCAL on the UC Santa Cruz roster. Two of them already played already today. as Eberly brings it in and then hands it to Malarkey, a pair, another pair of NorCalers. He'll drive against Oka, finds Joe Cookson in the corner, drains it, and it's a seven nothing run by Pomona Pitzer and the Banana Slugs try to play a little too fast. Give it right back. Little, little under eight minutes played Biggest deficit of the game for UC Santa Cruz. 2-3 matchup zone by UCSC. Zena Oka now guarding Eberly. He'll drive, he'll dish it, and the layup by Johnny King is good. Kessinger, Oka, he'll drive. Stop, cutting, kick out. Kessinger brings it back in, he'll drive. Draws a triple team. Swings around to Ryan Silva. Silva will drive, puts up a floater, gets the contact. Would have been a great shot. Instead, he'll try to get to uh, the old school way. And the foul drawn by number four, Kyle Jasper. Freshman from Orinda in the East Bay. Correction, they call the foul on Joe Cookson, the freshman from Mercer Island, Washington. And Silva with his first free throw off the front line. Avery Finch comes in for Keaton. So two starters in for UC Santa Cruz and Finch and Silva. And Silva, the, ju the junior from Escalon, second one, drains it. Banana Slugs stop the run. It's now 11-19. Matchup zone again by UC Santa Cruz. Sage swing swinging around. Floater, no good, tipped. Falls to Granberry. Nope, it tipped again and falls to number 33, Carrick Walker. Another three pointer, no good. Brought down, but looks like they call a foul on the rebound. Not a shooting foul, so they'll just inbound. Clock's all right. Bass slugs reset. They're now in man-to-man -man as Pomona moves for the inbounds. They find the big man, King. He'll put up, partially block, rebound. He'll go reversed and put it in. And the score goes to 21 to 11. Ten-point lead, knocked out of the hands by Pomona's Malarkey, it stays with the Banana Slugs. And Blomstrom and Mora, two Sage Hen starters, come back in. Again, the five on the floor for UCSC are Kessinger, Silva, Granberry, Finch, who has the ball, and Zena Oka, number 13. Number 12, Granberry, finds 13, Oka. Oka tries to shake his man, kicks to the corner to Silva. They'll bring it around, lots of motion. There's a cut, but he goes back outside to Oka. Ten the shot clock. Silva tries to drive through into a double team. Kicks it out. Avery Finch teases a three. He'll drive and draw the contact with one on the shot clock. And Finch will go to the line to try to double his point total. I don't think anyone's been more hungry to get on the floor for the Banana Slugs than Avery Finch. Was a freshman starter two years ago. Won the... Newcomer of the Year Award that year for the entire athletic department. 
And he was second team all ACAA. Banana Select's now playing, of course, in the Coast to Coast Conference. As Finch drains both. Junior from Richmond, played at Albany High School. Seichen's bringing it up quickly. Matchup zone against by UCSC. King somehow gets free, blocked by Finch. But the Seichen's recover, and they boo off the glass. Banana Select's a little too eager to run, and Malone calls his first timeout. Banana Select's are going to regroup as a deficit goes back to 10. 10.07 to play until halftime. Banana Slugs trying to get back in it against the Sage Hens of Pomona Pitzer. Back after this. Under 10 to play here at Kaiser Permanente Arena. UC Santa Cruz trailing by 10. Finch with the ball. He'll try to drive. He'll spin. He'll go to the rim. Draws contact. He'll go to the line again. Five on the floor for UC Santa Cruz are 13 Oka, 15 Silva, 22 Kessinger, 12 Granberry, and, the and center Avery Finch. And he drains it. Two starters come back in in number one Keys and number 14 Mueller Landsvik. Ten banana slugs are playing so far. Eleven, excuse me. Finch off the back iron, no good. Crashing the boards is Granberry, but it comes down to number 44 Pete Boyle of the Sagehands. Now Mora, they'll swing it around. Blomstrom at the wing, he'll drive. Kick it out. Three-pointer from the corner by Mora. Misses everything. Falls in the hands of Miru Lansvik. Banana Slugs looking to push it. As they trail by nine. Granberry tries to find the cutting Finch, but misses his target. Sage Hens will bring it up. Ty Bergman switches directions, finds Blomstrom. He holds up his dribble. Long pass to the top of the key to Mora. Mora will drive, throws a double team, finds the cutting 44 Pierre Boyle off the back iron. Rebound falls to Ty Bergman of the Sage Hens. They get a fresh 20. Man to man. He'll drive, kick it out, top of the key. Mora finds it on the wing for three. Off the back iron, Zach Granberry skies for it. It falls in the hands of Silva. And a one on three fast break. He'll wait for the rest of the banana slugs. And now UCSC sets their offense. Three pointer by Calvin Keys off the front iron. Pomona watches it go out of bounds for their ball. Sam Nangle checks back in. So the starting lineup for UC Santa Cruz is back on the floor. Pete Boyle inbounds it to number 10, Blomstrom. And four of the five on the floor for the Seichans are starters, except for number 12, Hayden Moser, who just checked in. Three from the corner, no good, but rebound brought down by Pete Boyle. He finds Blomstrom. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, and Boyle Gets the assist from Blomstrom. Lead back up to 12. Under eight until halftime. Nangle. Tamir Zainsvik into 
Finch, who actually has a size, as such, who calls the play. He clears out, stop and pop in the middle of the key. Nothing but net for Finch. Banana Slug's leading scorer so far today. Mora will drive against Keys. He'll kick it back out. Long NBA three by Ty Bergman. No good, but the rebound comes to Mora. He'll turn around and get it off the back iron to fall in. 28-16 lead for Pomona Pitzer. Finch, Nangle, Keys, Silva. He gets a screen and then kicks it. Thinks about it and now kicks it to Mueller Landsvik. Inside to Finch. 10 on the shot clock. Finch draws a double team. Mueller Landsvik movement. Keys with the three, no good, but Finch gets it and the putback is good. Avery Finch putting this team on his back and trying to get the banana slugs back in the game. They're within 10. Blomstrom brings it up, guarded by Mueller Landsvik. Pomona calls their plays. Ty Bergman has it to Mora. And we have a screen, offensive foul away from the ball. Gives it to UC Santa Cruz. And that's a moving screen called against Blomstrom, his first personal. A pair of subs come in for UC Santa Cruz in the form of number 11, Matt McDonald, and number 5, Ian McCloskey. McDonald, 6'5", senior from Tracy, California. pair of senior leaderships in the backcourt for UC Santa Cruz. Three-point attempt by McCloskey. It's good. And Ian McCloskey from Glendale finally gets his first college points. But now slugs within seven. Hand off to Blumstrom. Kick out to the wing. Same spot, but he steps on the out-of-bounds mark. Unforced turnover, and UC Santa Cruz gets an extra possession. That left corner had been kind to the Sage Hens, but betrayed them that time. Mueller Landsvik, screened by McDonald. He gets in the double team, finds Silva. But now Silva steps out of the, correction, the ball went out of bounds before it got to Silva. And Pomona Pitzer gets the ball back. Couple subs coming in. Peyton Malarkey and Matt Eberly come back in. And with the headband, it's 33 Walker inbounding it. As Malarkey guarded 47 feet up the court by Mueller Landsvik to Moser to Eberly. He'll stop and pop off the back iron. Rebound to Sam Nangle. Banana slugs. They can cut into this deficit a bit more. Run pass option by Mueller Landsvik. He kicks it to the top of the key to Silva. 15 on the shot clock. Kicked out by McCloskey. Three pointer by Nangle. No good. But tangled on the rebound. Rebound credited to McDonald as he draws a foul as well. And the foul is called at number 12, Moser. Fresh 34, UC Santa Cruz. Mueller Landsvik will inbound. Zina Oka, number 13, comes in. Replacing Nangle. Small and fast lineup for UC Santa Cruz. Pretty much a guard, a wing, and a forward. Silva will drive, gets the contact, but no call. Misses the layup. Pomona Pitzer comes down with it. Malarkey brings it up. with his new shadow, Simon Mueller Landsvik. Box and one kind of by UC Santa Cruz. Now then the double team kick back outside to Eberly. He'll drive, he meets McDonald, forced freeze the ball. McCloskey will bring it up, but Aslix have numbers. Rocket pass to Silva, stop and pop three, off the back iron, brought down by Pomona, stolen by Simon Mueller Landsvik, kick out. And now Oka will try the three off the back iron, brought down by Eberly. Great offensive set by UC Santa Cruz, comes up empty. Pomona will swing it around. Top of the key to Bergman, hands it off to Malarkey. Pick and roll. 
Kick outside to Moser. He'll let go of three off the backboard. He gets his own rebound. Drives, knocked out of the arena by Zena Oka. Uh, as, a, as a freshman from Thousand Oaks gets his first college block. Pomona subs in some size as number 50. Johnny King comes back in. Walker, he'll drive against McCloskey. Double team, knocked again by Zelina Oka. And the shot clock expires as a hard fought defensive stand by UC Santa Cruz. Shuts down the Sage Hens. And now Kessinger, who was in earlier as a point guard, will come in replacing Ryan Silva. Ostensibly going to the two. The shooting card position as interchangeably the banana slugs put new men into the ball game. Mueller Landsvik brings it up. He gets a screen from McDonald and guarded by the big man. Finds an open McDonald's, but the pass intercepted by Eberly. Pomona looking to run. Malarkey crosses over. Get, fakes the screen. He'll drive to the hoop himself and get the layup and the first basket in a long time for Pomona Pitzer makes it 21-30 Kessinger McCloskey Oka McCloskey he's free back outside of McDonald he'll let go of three misses off the back scramble for the rebound Kessinger goes for it it falls in the hands of Walker and now Pomona will bring it up and on the spin, Oka forces the ball out. It will stay with the Sage Hens as the banana slug center, number 24, Finch, comes in, relieving McDonald after a good defensive shift. Eberly, 6'5", senior from Los Altos, inbounds it to another NorCaler in Peyton Malarkey, the point guard. He finds Walker. Back to Malarkey, who's now guarded by Oka. Looks for a pass, finds Eberly, who's guarded by McCloskey. He'll drive, handoff, deep three by Malarkey off the front iron, off the back iron, off all the iron, and still fought for, brought down by Pomona Pitzer. Left corner three by Eberly, off the rim, brought down by Pomona, but knocked out of bounds. Banana slugs ball with 2.48 until halftime. And UC Santa Cruz will take a timeout. It'll be a 30 second timeout. Get some quick stats here from our excellent stat crew here. Led by the truly incomparable Christopher Holtz. <laughs> Banana Slugs had a little bit of a dry spell. They allowed Pomona to have a 10 nothing run, but now Banana Slugs are getting into it and they've shut down the Sage Hens holding them to just one basket over the past four and a half minutes. There's a little bit of a wet spot as Matt Malone, the new head coach, uh, makes his acquaintances with the referees from Northern California. Avery Finch will inbound it. The five on the floor for UC Santa Cruz are Finch, Mueller Landsvik, 22 Kessinger, 13 Oka, and five McCloskey. Crossover, McCloskey finds a wide open Tyler Kessinger, but he's immediately brought down into a double team. And they call the foul on number 50, King of Pomona Pitzer. Ryan Silva checks back in, replacing McCloskey. Three guard lineup for UC Santa Cruz. And correction, that's a seventh team foul on Pomona Pitzer, so a one and one for Kessinger. From Menifee, California. Played at Paloma Valley High School. Off the back iron, miss, no good. Rebound to number five of Pomona Pitzer, Joe Cookson. 
inside to John King. He kicks it out to the left corner. Swung around. Cooks in. Finds a cutting man. Reverse layup by King is good. Two oh five till halftime. Banana slugs. Oka will drive. Draws King. Goes reverse, but blocked by King. Oka comes back down with it. Finds an open Finch, who kicks it out. Eventually to Silva, and Silva is tripped on the drive, and he'll go to the line shooting one and one. Cookson just couldn't cover his man as that foul is committed. And Ryan Silva will go to the line, and Zach Granberry checks in for UC Santa Cruz, replacing Oka. Two of the four freshmen from UC Santa Cruz game playing time as Silva drains it, cuts it to a 10 point game. Second free throw coming up for Silva. Second one is good. Five on the floor for UC Santa Cruz are 12 Granberry, one Keys, 15 Silva, 24 Finch and 14, Mueller Landsvik. Peyton Malarkey brings it up to Eberly. Swung around to Boyle. Boyle holds up his dribble, finds Eberly, who swings a pass to the opposite side to Cookson, and back to Malarkey who started it all. Under 10 on the shot clock, draws a double team. Boyle will stop and pop from the logo, no good. Rebound chased down. Straw clock is still good. Second three, no good. Rebound by King. New 20. Eberly kicks it out. Three-pointer by Cookson. Third time, not the charm. Rebound by Zach Granberry. Slugs push it up. Silva inside to Finch. Facing Johnny. He'll find a cutting keys who kicks it back out to Granberry for three and nails it. Team basketball. First college three-pointer by Zach Granberry. The freshman from San Jose. Malarkey shakes his shadow, finds Boyle for three. No good. Rebound knocked around. Falls to Silva. The San Slugs looking to push. Get it within the single digits. Granberry with the cutting floater. And the fast break points gets UC Santa Cruz to within seven. 35 28, 30 seconds to go. King guarded by Finch. He'll drive, hold up his dribble, hand off to Eberly. Finch finds him and forces him to push it out. Keys tries to grab Malarkey, the length, and stepping out of bounds is Eberly. Unforced turnover. Two more subs for the last 19 seconds. And the banana slugs have the last possession of the game, of the half, rather. Mueller Landsvik. Brings it in. To Granberry, seven seconds, finds a cutting Fitch, stolen by Malarkey. He'll try to go hard to the rim. Goes reverse, rolls it up, and falls in. And against all odds, Pomona gets the last basket. The Banana Slugs back in the ball game, trailed by as much as 14. They trail by nine at halftime. Back after this on the UC Santa Cruz YouTube channel, the first basketball game of the season.
Back here at Kaiser Permanente Arena. Foul call against the Seychens, who are leading 50 to 36 in the season opener for UC Santa Cruz. Mueller Landsvik inbounds, finds Ian McCloskey, fakes the three, will drive, kick it out to Silva. No look pass from Mueller Landsvik back to Silva. He'll drive around the Giants, draw contact, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul called against 21 of Pomona Pitzer. Tyler Kessinger comes back in for UC Santa Cruz as Silva drains the first. Cuts it to 13. The right, Slugs only shooting 38% on the line. 9 of 12 from the line. Pomona Pitts are only three or four of the line. They've been just going to the basket more. Mora, knocked around, comes up in the hands of Avery Finch. Three-pointer from the corner around Silva, not good, but Pomona Pitzer's Ty Bergman comes down with the rebound. Mora, guarded by McCloskey. Eberle swings it into the hands of Malarkey, who's guarded by Kessinger. Inside the Eberle, he'll fake the hook and then faked out even his own teammate. So the pass was to no one. It comes up, banana slug ball. Walker comes back in for Pomona Pitzer. Kessinger will play point guard. He'll go around the perimeter, finds Silva, dumps it inside to Finch, who draws a double team. Kick out to the wing. Oka with a long two, comes in the hands of Mora. Pomona Pitzer pushes up. Mora, stop and pop, but he draws a contact before he releases a sh shot. Oka holds him up. Throw good by Mora. Free throw missed by Mora, excuse me. King comes back in for Pomona Pitzer. Eberle, the leading scorer. To both free throws missed, comes down to Zena Oka. Oka now with a pair of rebounds. And he brings that one down, but he is over the line. So the great effort goes for Nutt. Ball to Pomona Pitzer. Avery Finch leading the banana slugs with 14 points. Brian Silva has eight points. Deep three by Mora, misses everything, comes down, knocked around, falls in the hands of the Sage Hens, and Walker goes up, he's fouled by Oka. He'll go to the line. Carrick Walker looking for his first points in the ball game. Freshman from Santa Barbara, California. And his long arching free throw is good. His first college points for Carrick Walker. Lead back up to 13 for Pomona Pitzer. The Sage Hands, the last time there was basketball, made it to the Sweet 16 in the D3 tournament, winning a dramatic game at Emory in Atlanta before the season was curtailed for, let's just say, reasons. For reasons known to us all. Silva drives, find McCloskey, he'll drill back out, stop and pop off the front iron, but he chases down his own ball. Goes against three guys, misses it, rebound comes to Mora. 
But now Sox just cannot get ahead on the offensive boards. Mora tries to dribble through the whole team. Stops. We all fall down. Kicks it out for the three. No good. Jumps around. And falls in the hands of Avery Finch. But now Sox looking to press. Three on five. Kessinger goes up. Draws a contact. Reach for the rest of the team. Then goes around the world and in. Highlight reel from Tyler Kessinger. That's his first basket of the ball game. Mora will cut to the basket and lay up. Lead back to 14. Kessinger brings it up, guarded by Malarkey. 20 on the shot clock. Draws the contact. They haven't signaled if it's shooting foul yet. First free throw is a 10 for Kessinger in this ball game. The Skyac tour continues for UC Santa Cruz next weekend. They're at Chapman and Caltech Friday, Saturday. And then they're back up here at Kaiser Permanente Arena right after Thanksgiving. On the 26th, they play Chapman. On the 27th, they play Cal Lutheran, two of their oldest rivals, before finishing off the three-game weekend against Northwest Power Whitman College. So a pair of teams from the last NC2A tournament coming up to Kaiser Permanente Arena, Sam as sandwich around Skyak opponents. Visit GoSlugs.com for all the upcoming games for both men and women as basketball joins the Coast to Coast Conference. The Banana Slug men will travel to Newport News, Virginia for their conference tournament while the women host both at the West Field House and here in Casa Permanente the weekend of February 24th and 26th. McCloskey attempting to go coast to coast. Hits the iron and the rebound comes to Pomona. Walker will drive and he'll lose the ball. Untouched by a banana slug, it goes back to C. Santa Cruz. Pete Boyle coming back in for the Sachens, who are nursing a 12 point lead. Granberry picks the three, goes under his guy. Running one hander is good. Seven points for Zach Granberry, the freshman. Swung around by the Sachens. Inside to Boyle. Double team kicked out to Eberly. He'll go up and over and in. And Pomona takes a timeout just as they get the 12 point lead back. We're going to take it with them. 10 17 left here at Kaiser Permanente Arena. Banana Slugs working their way back. They trail Pomona Pitzer by 12.
Walker gets it guarded by Keyes. Goldstrom will drive against Granbury. Tries to find the cutting Bergman, but the bounce pass doesn't connect. And it's a turnover. Banass looks ball with 8.26 to go. Nass legs, second straight stop. Now they try to cut it in. In pass to McDonald, but it hits everything, and McDonald steps out of bounds trying to corral it. King back in, as is Mora for Pomona Pitzer. Pete Boyle will inbound it to Steven Blomstrom, who's being guarded by Mueller Landsvik. Vanas looks able to shut down Pomona the last two possessions. Eberly swings it to Mora. Draws a double team and gives it up to number 50, Johnny King, for the layup. I love 10 points now for King. The center from Newport Beach. Knocked around, banana slugs scramble for it. It ends up in the hands of Pomona Pitzer. Pushed ahead. Blomstrom will pu pull up for a deep three. King goes up and gets it. Three pointer by Everly off the front iron. Another rebound. And this time the tie ball gives it to UC Santa Cruz. As Granberry corrals it. Trace and Keating coming in for UC Santa Cruz. Pomona Pitzer dominating the boards, having a 37 to 21 edge. Before that one came up for UC Santa Cruz. Cutting layup and Keating, instant offense as TK to TK, banana slugs, back within 12. Mora on the left wing, he waits for a pick. He'll drive to the top of the key, all alone for the long two. Misses everything, knocked around, but it ends up in the hands of Simon Muir Landsvik. Banana Slugs have numbers as King falls down. Cutting, open, Keating, TK to TK. The sequel's just as good as the first. Banana Slugs finally within 10. Blomstrom hands it off to Everly. The Sagehens leading scorer has gone cold. Mora, he'll pull up for a three. It doesn't go. Rebound by Keating, who came off the bench. And has provided energy at both ends in the last minute. Muir Landsvik, he'll drive. Eurostep, off the glass and in. Banana slugs within eight. And Pomona take a timeout. Full timeout, 6.14 to go. Banana slugs creeping back in the game. They're with an A back after this from Kaiser Permanente Arena. Banana Slugs within eight here at Kaiser Permanent. Six minutes left 
inside to Eberle. He'll go up and around, off the back iron, scrambling for the rebound, comes down to Mora. Long three-pointer by Bergman, off the back iron, rebound by Kessinger, reach-in foul. And we bring it down the end, is that seven? And the call is, I'll call on number 44, Boyle. It's his second personal, and that is a one and one. We're kept, fouls are being kept by the referees because of the NBA scoreboards. The fouls only go to five. But seventh team foul. Kessinger misses the front, but Keating comes down with it. Knocked around, ends up in the hands of Eberly. And Pomona will push it up. The Nassau missing their chance to get under eight with under six to go. Everly will drive, go up against Keating, draws a contact. Basket knocked it off the back iron, but now he'll go to the line. Matt Everly, three of four from the line today. Foul called against Keating, his second. Fifth team foul. As Avery French gets ready to check in. Everly's three of four. He'll have two shots. Now he's four of five. 14 points. Avery Finch, the banana slugs leading scorer, comes back in after a great shift by number 32, Trace and Keating. Everly trying to put the lead back to double digits, and he does. 62 52. Finch inbounding it. Motion offense by the Banana Slugs. Kessinger on the left wing. Inside of Finch, he'll turn around from the logo, rattles everything, and they're gonna call a goaltend because a Pomona Pitzer player pulled at the, the twine. That's hard to say. So the basket does go to Finch. And Ryan Silva comes back in, Banana Slugs within eight. So 62-54 here with 5.18 to go. Malarkey brings it up into Boyle. He's guarded by Granberry. Mora will drive, hit off the back iron. No good, rebound by Keyes. Benasla trying to cut in the lead again. Silva gets the ball, turn around, looking for Finch, finds mueller Landsvik okay. instead. Now inside of Finch, who's guarded by Everly, now draws the double team. He'll dribble in. Turn around, finds the open man. Zach Granberry for three, no good. Rebound by Mora. Everly brings it up. Banaslik set their defense. Hand off to Malarkey with under five to play. And Pomona knows they're in the ball game now. Boyle to Mora, who's guarded by Silva. To Malarkey. First year playing well in his first college game. Eberly, the seasoned vet, goes in against Finch, draws the contact, and Eberly goes to the line for two more. Eberly is five of six in the ball game from the line. Kind of a homecoming for Eberly, the senior from Los Altos. And he rattles it in. Joe Cookson comes back in for Pomona Pitzer, as does the big man number 50, Johnny King. 10 points and five rebounds, excuse me, 12 points and five rebounds for Johnny King. Second one is good. Lead back to 10. A little over four minutes, Banana Slugs get back to work again. Granberry, Finch, Silva, Mueller, Landsvik, and Keyes with the ball on the floor for UC Santa Cruz. Silva now gets it. Matchup zone thrown at them by the Sage Hens. Mueller, Landsvik, and Silva trying to skip around it. Under 10, inside of Finch. He's open. He'll turn around. Rims out. But a 
push on the rebound called against the Banana Slugs. And that's a seventh team foul. One and one coming up for Pomona Pitzer. And Pomona hasn't gone to the line much, but they can still ice it here. Sam Nangle and Zeno Oka come back in for UC Santa Cruz. Pomona Pitzer with a 42 to 25 rebound advantage. Especially on the Banana Slugs offensive end. Everly continues his streak. Five straight points for him from the free throw line. To have given the Sage Hens a 65 54 lead. And the hot hand of the Sage Hens goes for his sixth straight, and it rolls in. Lead back to 12. Under four to go. Muir Landsvik calls out the plays. Same matchup zone thrown out by, by Pomona. Oka with the ball top of the key. Finds Silva. Back to Oka. He'll drive. He'll draw contact. And he'll go to the line shooting a one and one. Will be Zeno Oka's first college free throws. Foul call against number 11, Milwaukee. Offense for defense as Finch goes out. McDonald comes in. Zina Oka, freshman from Thousand Oaks. First one off the back iron. Rebound chased down by Mora and McDonald. McDonald gets a hand on it. Ends up in the hands of number five, Cookson. And Pomona will bring it up. Vanessa looks looking for a stop. They played hard the whole game against the last Skyak champions. <laughs> they have no answer for the beef. Mr. King, Oka tries to answer, gets a hand on it, ends up in the hands, and a shot clock violation as Pomona cannot get a look at the rim from the great Banana Slugs defense. Twelfth turnover forced by Pomona Pitzer. And offense for defense, Finch back in for McDonald. Mueller Landsvik brings it up, a little over three to minutes to play. He'll go to the left, hand off to Oka, inside the Finch, he's open, off the glass, assist Oka, basket by Finch, Banana Slugs back within 10. 16 points for Avery Finch to lead the Banana Slugs. Mora. Everly, Cookson, Seichens bleeding the shot clock. Stolen by Oka. The Nasslugs have numbers. Oka will take it himself. No, he'll find a cutting Silva. Rolls in. Eight point margin. Defense to offense, and the Banana Slugs still have a sliver of chance. 2.28 to go. Exciting conclusion coming up here at Kaiser Permanente between the Banana Slugs and the Seichens. Back after this. Two twenty-eight to go here at Kaiser Permanente Arena. 
Malarkey in his shadow, Mueller Landsvik. The Nassauks are within eight. The Nassauks now doing a man to man, now back to a matchup zone. Drive, dish by Mora. Second straight steal by Zena Oka. The lanky freshman from Thousand Oaks, Banaslugs, have a chance to make this a two possession game. Miller Landsvik shakes his defender, goes back to left, and throws it right into the hands of Cookson. So Pomona has been forewarned to take better care of the ball. But they do not. Third straight steal by Zena Oka, who's turning up the plus minus. And the banana slugs take a timeout. We're going to keep it right here with 1.39 to go. Banana slugs with six steals total today. Zena Oka with three of them in the last minute. Oka, the freshman from Thousand Oaks, has four points and a block. Plus a pair of rebounds in his college debut. The other freshman playing extensive minutes for UC Santa Cruz has been Zach Granberry from San Jose. He has seven points and a rebound. Leading scorer for UC Santa Cruz is Avery Finch, who's six of 11 from the field, six of seven from the line, 18 points. Ryan Silva has eight points. The Nassau struggling though, have only five threes in the ball game. UC Santa Cruz still losing on the rebounding battle. It's 44 to 25 in favor of Pomona Pitzer. Five on the floor for UC Santa Cruz are Oka, Muir Lansvik, Silva. Nangle and Avery Finch. 139 to go. Finch inbounds to Oka to Muir Landsvik. Matchup zone again by Pomona. Nangle into Oka. Back out to Silva. From the right side, no good. Rebound falls to Mora of Pomona Pitzer. Banaslugs looking to have a stop as they switch on and put Oka on Malarkey. Matchup zone by UC Santa Cruz. A boxing one, rather, as they're staying man on man with Malarkey, and now they search back to a man-to-man. -man. Mora inside to Eberly. He'll drive, draw the double team. Block, and a jump ball, but the possession arrow stays with Pomona Pitzer. One away to go. Banas looks have to play defense for eight more seconds. They've had a pair of shot clock violations go their favor before. Malarkey looks to inbound, tosses it in, finds Cookson. Oak almost gets the steal, but Mora gets it. He'll drive, and he'll draw the contact. And he'll go to the line. To make this a three-possession game with three possessions left. Mora 0 for 2 from the line, and today's 0 for 3. And Zach Granberry will replace Sam Nangle. So two freshmen on the floor for UC Santa Cruz, along with a junior and two seniors. Mora hits his first free throw of the day as Boyle comes in. Still a three possession ball game. Clock starts, minute to go. Mueller Landsvik, motion offense, gets it in the hands of Oka. Granberry to Finch, turnaround jumper, off the front iron, fought for the rebound. Finch gets his own miss, puts it up. He has 20 points in his season debut. Banana slugs within seven. Now that they do some full court pressure and they foul in the backcourt. And it'll be two shots coming up with 45.7 left.
Off the back iron, rebound by Finch. It, was, it is the one and one. The Nassau is trying to make it a two possession game. Oka to Mueller Landsvik. He'll try to shake his defender. He finds Finch, who's guarded by Boyle. Finch will drive, turn around. Running one hander. No good, but it comes down to the Sage Hands. And Joe Cookson draws the foul. Now it's two shots with 28.3 left. Come on, a 12 of 18 from the line. Make that 13 for 19. Back up to an eight point lead. Rims out, rebound by Granberry. Vanessa looks push it up. Muir Landsvik gets a screen from Finch. He'll stop and pop from the free throw line off the back iron, chased down. Rebounded by the Sage Hand, stolen by Oka. It's cream. Now Oka gets it from Granberry. He'll try a three, no good. Put back by Finch. He's fouled under the basket. Correction, he's the fouler going over the back. And it'll be two free throws for the Sage Hens as a foul is called on Finch. It looks like it'll be Boyle going to the line. It'll be Boyle's first free throws of the day and they couldn't come in at a better time. His first one rattles in, back to a 10 point lead after the banana slugs were within the Correction, a nine point lead. His second one rolls up, stays a nine point lead. Finch brings it to Mueller Landsvik, to Silva, he'll drive. He'll go running layup, 3.2 seconds. Banana slugs applying the pressure, they get it inbound. Eberly. Guarded by Zena Oka. And the game close, but no cigar. And the first game of the Matt Malone era ends disappointingly for Banana Slugs, but a great comeback attempt in the second half. Banana Slugs fall to the Sage Hands of Pomona Pitzer, 69 to 62. We're going to sign off here, back here next weekend, excuse me, Thanksgiving weekend, as the Banana Slugs will play. Chapman, Cal Lutheran, and then Whitman on the 26th, 27th, and 28th. Avery Finch finishes with 20 points, Lee Banana Slugs. Ryan Silva finishes with 10. Thank you for listening, and go Slugs. <laughs>